Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore Difficulty, highest difficulty, one save game, and no missions that we can fail. It's time for Operation Solid Copy, uh, where we are getting some intel um, and mainly managing the unrest in the uh, in this area. And since we already got finance um, a finance field team rank three, we're also getting forty um, uh, forty. Uh, supplies on top of it. I gave our newly purchased grip to Axiom, who is now um, having the option to actually fire twice with his shotgun. Not that he is particularly well hitting though, but you know what? By thinking about it, hmm. Axiom can also attack in melee. Maybe we're giving it over to Claymore. Or let's do something different. If Axiom is the one who's taking regular shots, might as well give him the scope so that he at least hits. Yeah, that makes sense. So we got a completely new and fresh team. Virch is the only one uh, from the remaining team. Everyone got their um, nanomet uh, kits and we got quite a bit of um, ammunition uh, so that uh, we can still um, uh, still get uh, the unconscious targets. Other than that, a few grenades and let me do a little bit of optimizing here. Instead of Trank Rounds, I think Axiom should get the Trank Rounds because he's shooting more often with his weapon. Oh, but he can't take additional, can't take additional, no, never mind, I just screwed this one up. You cannot take two medkits. He certainly can take a plasma grenade. Okay, that looks like a great uh, start. One and one mission only, so we should be good to go. Good, moments later we start with a breach. First unit uh, is guaranteed to land a shot. Uh, successful shots will stun. First unit is marked until the end of the turn. Yeah, you know what? We're just taking the normal entrance, to be honest. And if we're guaranteed to land a shot, we might as well want uh, to use a shotgun in order to do that. Followed up by Verge. Hmm, wait a second. Okay, so what's the problem here? Why couldn't... Why couldn't Torque go in second? Well, whatever. It seems Torque needs to go in first, but I'm okay with that. Okay, let's take a look. We only have one uh, threatening enemy, and that's a Legionnaire. Um, might as well just levitate him in order to not take any damage. Got a Hitman, okay. Got an Aider, a Python, a Python. A Necromancer, the Necromancer would be a great target and the Dominator would be even a better target. But to be honest, the shotguns are not um, accurate enough to hit them. Let's just stick with the options that we do have available. We killed one of them and that's okay for now. Massive amount of enemies. You are go for rescue. You know, I'm wondering, can we simply pull the VIP? Oh, that's why. 
That is why she was not allowed to take any of the other spots, because then she could have simply pulled the VIP out of there and finished the mission. That is hilarious. Hmm, okay. I would like to pull the Dominator, but apparently that's not going to work. Moving over here to not cluster up too much. There we go, 88%. That looks more like it. And time to go to sleep, my friend. Could move up to here and then take a shot. Problem is we're exposed. On the other hand, this here would give us a great option. We do have two shots though, so as an expected value we should hit. Alright, that's one down. And fortunately not a hit. The Necromancer will start, yep, summoning his spectral zombies. Probably gotta deal with him. Uh, rather sooner than later. That's high ground, and high ground means they are going to have an advantage. Yeah, that's not really going to matter. Let's try to stun the Necromancer. I don't know if that's going to uh, that's going to kill the zombies. The answer is no, it does not. This here could kill the Edder, Edder though. Legionnaire starts hitting the Necromancer. Well, that's okay as well. You know, this here could be a good thing, getting the python over there. And what we could do is just explode it with another grenade. <laughs> Worked like a charm. Uh, we could move up, uh, or we're just simply keeping our cover and taking out the other. There is a cobra. So we do have a free 
tongue pull. But unfortunately, no one is in reach, right? So, might as well just continue binding. Oh, and he needs more ammunition in his shotgun. Three is not enough. At least not if he takes two shots every single turn. Moving over to get in close. Oh, that's fantastic. I think we're going to go for the Necromancer. Wonderful. Takes care of the zombies. You made your choice. Good. Time for the Cobra to slow down. And you know, just because it's fun, let's puppeteer them. Moving up. Hitting the Cobra. Hitting the Legionnaire. Okay, we're definitely continuing to sustain the bind. The Dominator will die next turn. Weapon four. Love it. So I think that might be an egg, uh, it might be a mission where we again need to find an exit. Ammunition topped off. Hostiles will not get through. In the third round, when you sustain the bind, it'll uh, increase to four points of damage, and later in the game, you can even increase the bind damage, the standard bind damage, and well, that's just going to be much, much um, higher. Five standard bind damage and seven in the kind of proceeding rounds. Axiom is not the fastest. All right, Verge moves over. I can see everything. I said Overwatch.
Claymore's moving over. I guess we get everyone out of here. Watching my zone. Thank you. Time to help Axiom, because he's the guy who's the slowest. And we might as well already go with her. And the VIP moves. And yeah, the rest shouldn't be too difficult. Interestingly enough, uh, they cannot, uh, they are not um, acting after us. So it's indeed the case that they can get a couple of actions off. The reason why I took that shot is the Paladin will not get an action before we're leaving. So might as well kill the Legionnaire. Ouch. Good, Claymore is the last one to leave. <clears throat> And luckily he has enough armor. That was an interesting mission. Unfortunately, Torque uh, couldn't be in a position where we immediately captured the, uh, the VIP. That would have been hilarious. Good, we only captured two enemies, so maybe we're missing the intel. If we did that, it would be the third mission in around 25-ish missions. Nice, we got the 20 intel. Perfect. Overall 75 intel, 40 credits. And we completed the Guardian training, which is great. I thought all mutons were issued cats. What happened to yours? Yeah, I never got one. How did you manage that? Well, I showed capacity for compassion at the Bugtown Massacre. No need for a cat. How about you? Sectoids do not receive cats. They generally perceive us as adversaries. I've seen a lot of sectoids with cats. Yes, the challenge lies in convincing them otherwise. You were in their trust? That is how cats work. Perfect. Overwatch ability is triggered for multiple targets as long as ammunition is available. Guardian. A very nice ability for her. We got two additional promotions. One for Claymore. Our first choice. So, we got the choice between Fortitude. Claymore is immune to the effect of grenades and our environmental hazards. That is not bad. Uh, environmental hazards include fire and acid, and uh, poison is already, um, or he's already immune um, thanks to his um, thanks to his med kit. Improves explosives. Uh, Claymore regenerates a charge uh, for carried grenades at the end of each encounter. You know that is fine as well, and um, I appreciate it for probably multiple missions that that you can give him uh, grenades and he's just going to roll with them so far grenades don't necessarily um, kind of um, seem to be the best utility items yes flashbangs are okay smoke, smoke grenades in some cases are good as well I definitely find uh, explosive grenades rather underwhelming so 
I would give him immunity to environmental effects. Axiom, on the other hand, um, gets the burst ability, bursts through a door at a breach point, and has a, a chance to panic enemies. Panic increases with ra uh, rage, and that's an ability that is always available. Um, I think it's okay. I've never noticed. I was playing with him on a previous uh, on the previous playthrough. I've never noticed that it was um, completely game changing, so to speak. Okay, we got our spec ops complete. That's good. And when we're now to looking for training subjects, I think. We might want to go and train Verge next. Yes, please. For Spec Ops, we're putting Terminal up here. I like the ex extra XP. That is not bad. Um, I could, I could also see the free field team being helpful. That isn't bad either. So far, the scavenger market was quite, quite, uh, quite good for us. So we could go and do that again. I like the extra XP. But I think we're going to go with another scavenger run for the market. That's like 120 intel. So almost twice as much as we get in three days. So yeah, I guess that's fine. The other option that we would have is the free field team. And we're just using actual intel. Let's go with the field team. Ah, shite, we got an outbreak. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. That is what I did not want to happen. So I really don't like emergency missions. Uh, they tend, uh, tend to be quite nasty. Good, but we at least got our entire new roster. Now, before we do anything, let's get rid of his um, abilities here, um, his items here. And let's make sure that Shelter gets the items in his loadout. Good, we got our new team. And it's the first time that the four of them are working together and it's a terror mission. So that's exciting. Very soon we're going to see um, the next improved uh, trainings process. So we're probably then going to staff another um, agent onto training simply because their training takes five days now, so it's uh, quite a while. And maybe we're even going for the additional spec ops. I like the idea of the Medi patch here. Holo scanner is pretty good. Maybe we're actually going for breach equipment because I feel we have zero breach equipment at the moment. Um, and there are a couple of really good items, plus our credits are okay. So we're definitely not switching. In terms of purchase, stocks are okay, just to finish enemies. Um, the Trank Rounds, we already talked about them, they are pretty good. We could go for a final Mag Weave, um, which isn't too bad. 
and we're really missing a couple of breach items because the breach items aren't bad like if you uh, for instance if you look at them uh, they can they can solve some of our issues on in longer encounters medipatch uh, heals everyone so it's good holo scanner uh, gives everyone an, um, I, either of the uh, them gives them a to hit bonus and the other one gives a critical strike a critical chance bonus of 50 so they are actually quite good um, and we haven't used the slots yet good this brings us to the end of uh, this mission next mission is going to be a banger because we have our b team uh, the newly assembled squad uh, of uh, Torque, Axiom, Shelter and Claymore. All of them um, are going to uh, be on their own for the first time. And how difficult is this going to be? Let's take a look. Ouch. Good. So I can already tell you, by the way, at the advanced scope, we can get rid of uh, that. We're instead giving the advanced scope over here. Why isn't she having any primary? Are you kidding me? I swear she normally had a primary weapon. What? What? What is going on? Are you suggesting she can no longer wear primary weapons? Something is awfully wrong. Okay, no one can select any weapons. I think I need to restart uh, the game. Because now her entire loadout is empty and I don't think that that's the case. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next episode and hit the like button if you, um, if you appreciate what you've seen. Thank you and goodbye.